Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mark and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So we've been getting a little stir crazy hanging out at the house. So today we decided we're gonna go do a little bit of fishing. So we're heading out to one of my favorite spots to catch snakeheads and we're gonna be throwing some topwater frogs and hopefully we can get a couple of them. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. So we're out here trying to catch some snakeheads. I'm throwing a uh, Hurricane Redbone 10 to 20. Uh, I believe it's a medium action. I've got the Daiwa Saltist backwater reel. Love this thing. Throwing some 20 pound braid. And I've got some horny toads on a VMC um, weedless rig. And I'm just throwing it along the edge here. Um, just dragging it top water trying to get a bite. If you want to win this summit tree stand for free, all you have to do is subscribe and check out this video. I'm surprised this hasn't gotten blown up yet. So I'm going to change the color on here because it's always good to change color regularly. Because sometimes you'll find that like you'll throw one color and nothing will happen. You change color and immediately you'll start getting hits. So I haven't really used these before but I'm switching to uh, this ribbit frog. And this has like a brown on top with a bright orange on the bottom. <laughs> that's dinner wow dispatch that's a big him. one I'm gonna dispatch him real quick see that jiggle that means his brain is done hell yeah perfect look at that perfect little probably two or three pounder hold on mm -hmm. these are such cool fish I just love them and in these hard times you cannot pass up such good table fare as a bullseye snakehead here in South Florida Let's see if we can pick up another couple on the way back to the truck morning guys we're back out here this morning after catching that oh, oh first cast the second it hit the water oh, oh it's a nice snakehead look at that hell yeah look at that first cast new spot never been here before was just about to say i'm trying out a new spot and there it is snakehead on the first cast it's the only downside to catching snakeheads on soft plastics they absolutely destroy them check these out there's a couple big old snakeheads sitting right here see that unlike a lot of other species you find here in South Florida the snakehead actually doesn't really bite when they're spawning or defending their nest they tend to just take their young and hide so it's not like a peacock bass but it sure is cool to see 
Now, whenever you're snakehead fishing and you're moving along the bank, I like to move halfway the distance that I casted before because snakeheads are really spooky. And if you move all the way to the end of your, your last cast, you may end up spooking one that was just sitting a few yards past your cast. So I always make sure that my casts are overlapping. Let it go. Damn. All right, guys, I'm done fishing for the day. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you drop those down below, and I'll put in the description what uh, gear I was using. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and have a good one, guys.